The M series by Samsung sits below the Galaxy A series and is known for the budget and mid-range phones. Right now, the most feature-packed phone under this series is the Galaxy M54. This phone was launched last year with an Exynos 1380 chipset, a 108MP camera, a 120Hz AMOLED display and a massive 6000mAh battery. The same phone was rebranded and launched as the Galaxy F54, which is something Samsung has been doing since the introduction of the F series. The Samsung Galaxy M55 is launching soon and while Samsung has not yet announced the launch date, we now have the official images as well as the specifications of it. Design-wise, the Samsung Galaxy M55 looks identical to the Galaxy M54. This is not surprising because this camera layout has now become an identity of Samsung phones. So there is nothing to talk about in terms of the design. But what is interesting is the SoC that powers this phone. As mentioned before, the Galaxy M54 had an Exynos chipset last year. And the year before that, the Galaxy M53 was launched with a MediaTek chipset. The last phone under this lineup with a Snapdragon chipset was the Galaxy M52 which had the Snapdragon 778G. The Galaxy M55 will launch with a Snapdragon 7 Gen 1 SoC which could be a good news for some because many users prefer Snapdragon chipsets over the MediaTek or Exynos chipsets. Now, the Snapdragon 7 Gen 1 is not some latest and greatest mid-range SoC. It was launched almost two years ago and is built on the Samsung's 4nm process. The SoC has an octa-core CPU clocked at up to 2.4GHz and an Adreno 660 GPU. In terms of performance, this chipset is better than the likes of Snapdragon 7S Gen 2 or even the Exynos 1380 of last year's M54. The Galaxy M55 is coming with up to 12GB of RAM and 256GB of storage and on top of that, there is an option to expand the storage up to 1TB using a microSD card. This year, the battery size has been reduced to 5000mAh but this also means that the Galaxy M55 is slimmer and lighter than the M54. In fact, as per a source, the Galaxy M55 will be the Samsung's slimmest M-series phone. The phone supports 45W fast charging but obviously Samsung won't offer a charger in the box. The Galaxy M55 has a 6.7 inch 120Hz Super AMOLED display with a peak brightness of 1000 nits and an under display fingerprint scanner. For comparison, the M54 had a side-mounted fingerprint scanner. Coming to the cameras, the Samsung Galaxy M55 has three cameras on the back. The primary camera has a 50MP sensor with OIS, the ultrawide camera has an 8MP sensor, and the macro camera has a 2MP sensor. It is also worth mentioning that the Galaxy M54 had a 108MP primary sensor, but still we expect the M55 to have a better sensor, even though the megapixel count is lower. Talking about the megapixel count, the Samsung Galaxy M55 has the highest resolution selfie camera ever in a Samsung phone. The selfie camera on this phone has a 50MP sensor, which sounds pretty impressive on paper. Finally, speaking of the software, the Samsung Galaxy M55 will launch with one UI based on Android 14 and the phone will get at least four Android updates. The price is not yet known but based on these specifications, we won't be surprised if Samsung launches this phone in India at 30,000 rupees. And like always, this phone may launch again later this year as the Galaxy F55. Let us see at what price the phone actually launches because some of the specifications are pretty impressive. Anyways, at what price do you think Samsung should launch the Galaxy M55? Do let me know via the comment section below and as always, I'll catch you in the next one.